Hello folks, this is Perry again. I thought I would come up with something that was a little snazzier of a demo than what I showed during my technical explanation of the CGA 160x100 uh, video standard, or video mode. And I think you might like this. And you can see that there was an image formed out of the static. The way this works is that the entire screen buffer is initialized with random values between 1 and 255. And after that, I iterate through all of the entries in the screen buffer, uh, running them through a linear feedback shift register. And one of the unique properties of a linear feedback shift register is that eventually it's going to return all values between 0 and 255. And in this case, I compare the value that's returned by the shift register to the actual image data that's stored as a header file in the program. And when the pixel value matches what's in the header file, I stop updating it. So you see just a bunch of static that eventually becomes the image. The code that implements this will be in my GitHub repository, as well as the utility that I use to convert an XPM bitmap into a header file that can be included in here. The workflow I used was I took an image in GIMP, I scaled it to 160 by 100, then I applied a 16 color palette to it, and I exported it as an XPM file. Now XPM files are text files, and the actual image data is stored as a printable ASCII character. So I stripped all of the information except for the printable ASCII characters that were the image data, and then run it through a program that just packs the pixel data into the um, foreground background format that's needed by the CGA or text mode and then that's stored as a header file in the program and I simply compare uh, array indexes and whenever they match I don't change the value and this is what you get well thanks for watching I hope this was entertaining and you might find it useful